Um, <laughs> some big home runs, obviously, um, to put us up three to two and then to put us up five to two. But I thought he made some good plays. The play he made on the ball, the last ball off of Clifford. I mean, it's an outstanding play in center field. So he continues to shine, and um, he's been really helpful. How different has his demeanor been this year? Is it apparent to you that he has more confidence when he goes out there? Uh, you know, I think his de demeanor's, you know, been pretty similar, actually. I, you know, I think at times he was frustrated last year because he was struggling. But I think when you watch him come in every day, I mean, he's the same guy and believes in himself. And, uh, you know, he believed in himself last year. But, I mean, obviously he's having a lot more success, so there's probably more high fives. Is it pretty remarkable, the fact that, He's now surpassed his home run and RBI total of all of 2016. I know he's playing a little bit more yeah. consistently. No, I mean, it, it is. Uh, because if you compare the amount of bats that he had last year to this year, I mean, he's been huge for us. Andrew. Overall, what stood out about Jordan Montgomery? Um, really good first inning. Struggled a little bit second inning and then settled back in. Um, to me, he didn't let it snowball. Um, he made a, uh, a mistake, the scope. Um, he had a hard home run. He gave up a couple hits after that. And then after that, he settled in pretty nicely and knew exactly what he had. And I thought they executed a very good game plan together. Kenny and Dan. Joe, to get three straight uh, starting pitching performance like you got now against your divisional rivals, could you realistically <laughs> anticipate that? You can't ask for any more for what these guys are doing. Um, you know, I think Seve's on the mound tomorrow. Let it continue. I mean, he's been throwing really well, too. So. Uh, you know, we've been in a really important stretch here. Uh, so, you know, we got a chance, you know, tonight to win the first game, and, and we did it. Now let's go out and try to build on it. How much of a correlation do you think there is between uh, Gary hitting six now and, and the three games that he's had? Is there one? You know, I don't – maybe. Uh, I mean, I can't really tell you that. Um, you know, he's always somewhat been a middle-of-the-order hitter. I, I, I still like the thought of him hitting second, you know, when we put him there. And, and But, uh, you know, I think it's more that he's gotten his swing right. You know, he's used the whole field more again, um, which we saw last year. But if that's what it took, you know, it worked. Wally Lucky for me. <laughs> Wally and Susan. Joe, I know it's not a decision you have to make right now, but the way Hicks is playing when Ellsbury does come back, is there any possible way, unless he goes into a tailspin, that this guy's not your everyday center field? He's going to play a lot, Wally. I mean, that's the bottom line when, when it comes back. And, you know, I know that at some point I'm going to have to give Guardi a day off. I'm going to have to give Judge a day off. I'm going to have to give Hicks a day off, but he's going to continue to get a ton of at-bats. Considering that Montgomery pitched against these guys just last week, how impressive was what he did? Um, really good. You know, I said, like I said, he had the, the, the tough second inning. I think he gave up three or four hits maybe in that second inning, a walk and three hits. But then he settled in really nicely, and they got some big right-handed bats, and he did a good job. Right here in the middle. Uh, speaking of those big right-handed uh, bats, uh, might be overshadowed by the late offense, but what impressed you the most the way he attacked Jones with a runner on third when it was still tied at two? He just stayed within himself. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't think he overthrew any pitches. Um, I thought, you know, he got ahead, then he expanded with his curveball and made an excellent pitch, you know, with two strikes. And got him to chase, and he just stayed within himself. Danny, to your right. Joe. So obviously, with the pitch count where it was and the way he was going, I imagine it wasn't that hard a decision, but le letting him go through seven, which he hadn't done before, are you just gaining more confidence in him as he goes along? Yeah, we're giving him um, smaller bits and pieces. You know, it's kind of what you do with young players, and you want to see him clear hurdles, and he continues to clear them, and um, we really like what he's doing.